Okay, after Vayne is removing, you're going step forward, you're going to remove other bits from the timing. Vayne is going to be different episode, different video. So I just want to remove that, that, and take the um, cylinder head off. So when you're removing these nuts, be careful not to drop them inside. Ratchet is failing. Everything is failing. When you're moving these sprockets and spacers make sure you put them in correct order otherwise you can mess up the timing I've done it a few times so I know how to do it if you're not sure just follow the procedure once again if you're not sure Secondary chain tensioner. So that was your timing. Now if I rotate the crankshaft, it should stuck in one point. That's it. Can't rotate because this uh, camshaft is not rotating. Your chain tensioner is located on the side. Socket number size 32. To release the tension.
there's no tension on the chain and now maybe I'll be lucky to remove that wheel or not now very important before you start removing head bolts there are one two three small bolts in the front of the engine they holding together uh, cylinder head and uh, oh my god cylinder head and timing cover They have a different length, so be careful. So there's another one, which is located here. I need to take the crankshaft, I mean the camshaft, to get to that last. After this, that sprocket should come out easy. I just simply forgot about it. Oops, we lost it. No worries, I'm gonna get it. That's what's happening when you don't take time. Okay, now it's time for head removal. E12 Torx and very important now you can't start from side go all over the place how you want recommended method says you should start from the middle and going across and also you can't just remove the bolt at once you have to take time like this until you hit here click so now going across 
again click that was loose <laughs> why and now from one to you can start free over here but however we can't put that tool because the camshaft is on the way so what you can do it's rotate it until you find a spot the camshaft have a cut to fit that tool this is actually BMW tool that's why they made it like that okay another one number three so number four is gonna be here number three number four so number five it's gonna be this one number another one however it's on the way so again we can rotate this one Okay, we got six done. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So then number seven. Number seven here. Number eight. Number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve. and 14 so that was your first stage so now you're going back to number one and doing the same thing but now it's easy one two three Five. Oops. Sorry about that. Tidy garage. No room. Seven. Fourteen. Again, I'll try by hand now. Oh, with the small ratchet. One, two. Oh. 
five, six, seven, Yeah, loose. So that's just a matter of removing them. Why it's happening? Why, why they recommend doing this uh, like that? Because if you do it, if you're not gonna do it with correct procedure, you 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 ending up uh, with warp head or blown head gasket when you finish your project. So. have to be like this and there's no doubt, doubt about it because in the factory the robotic arm or whatever it's bolting the head down uh, at once however you can't replicate that method at home so they came up with procedure you have to follow so the result is going to be exactly the same. You can see that special tool has just become useless. 